Love me some toast. Okay, we're gonna draw this bottom left toaster. Start with just a rectangle that's on an angle and we're gonna draw it like a three-dimensional cube. So I'm gonna drop down my lines, but instead of being perfectly um, parallel, they're going to angle in towards each other. And the front, and then the back angle needs to match that front angle. And the side, um, it doesn't really drop down that far. And I noticed I made mine a bit long, so we're gonna adjust that. And then I'm gonna make that front dial area and drop up or bring it up to the top. Now the top area, I'm looking at the width on the side from the hole that I'm going to make that you put the toast in. And so we want those widths to be pretty similar. And I curve those tops and I'm just working on that width still. All the edges are not perfectly square, so we have kind of a light, nice, um, like rounded edge or on the corners. And then I just drop that down to get the illusion that it keeps going down and down and down. And then I'm gonna drop down another rectangle that curves at the bottom and um, give myself a little dial, make that three dimensional. And then you're just kind of giving some details. Now you can go in and add lots of value if you want. I just drop in a little bit of shading in a second. And we don't want to forget um, the feet. And the feet really just come out just barely off of the edge and they go into the side of the toaster. They don't come off of the edge. And so it's almost like a side view of a teardrop that's squared at the bottom. give myself some of those cast shadows and then you know you can spend as much time on the details and values as you want okay not too shabby good luck <laughs>